everybody, today we're going to take another look at an Action Jack figure. This one is the Red Indian from the Cowboys and Indians Wave. This came out in around 1982, 1983 to the best of my knowledge. I remember getting these from Boys, I think they are about 20 pence. So as you can see on the box there, we've got Action Jack with accessories made of solid and breakable polyplastic. Movable head, arms and legs. And you can see the prototype figure, this does differ slightly to the one I'm going to show you. A lot of these colours are uh, different, that's more of a bright orange. Same with the quiver there, that's and yellow on the box, it's actually black. Same with his little skirt thing. And also the shield is actually yellow, not green. On the back we can see... This is the Indian, not to be confused with the Red Indian. This one had a slightly different shield, although it's the same in this picture. And he has a sort of the buffalo style uh, headdress rather than the, the big feathery thing. There's also the cowboy in the middle there. You can see the Union Infantry. And this one's got the small hat on. There is another version of this box that has the cowboy hat on the Union Infantry figure. We've got the Mexican Vaquero and the US Cavalry, and this is the Red Indian. Caution small parts not recommended for children under three years of age. Around the box, you can see Star Toys number 883. I think all the figures in this wave are numbered 883. Other than that, made in Hong Kong. That's your lot for the box, so I'll uh, have a look at the figure. So this is the figure. As you can see, he's got one leg shorter than the other, but I have actually managed to stand him up there. This is a unique action jack in that uh, it's the only one with a different head sculpt. You can see there, I'll give it a bit of a close-up. It's uh, not the greatest sculpting. It's alright from the sides, but from the front it looks like he's got sugar puffs on his face or something. I get the feeling that this was sculpted by someone not quite as talented that did the original one. You can see he's got his little uh, pigtails there. Other than that, the figure is just about the same as the basic Action Jack body, only cast in brown plastic. And on the feet, you'll notice the boots are unpainted. And uh, I've never seen an Indian with painted boots yet. So there you go, that's the figure. You can still pop the head out. So if you wanted to give him a different colour body, you could swap him round and uh, got the usual collapsible body there. So you could have blue legs and a white body and an Indian head and red arms, whatever you want really. So this guy, he comes with loads of accessories, so we'll build him up. As we go along, the first thing, we've got this little uh, waistband and it's got a little holster for a knife. Attaches around with that little hole there, and there's a little peg on the back. These are a very tight fit, so this might not work straight away, but we'll try. Just got to sort of click it in. No, it doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go, we've got it. So we've got the little flappy skirt thing at the front, and we've got a little holster. We also get this little knife. This is tiny, this thing. Cast in uh, silver plastic. Tiny little blade on it. And, uh, I'm not sure if it fits in his hand actually. Oh yeah, you can just about get it in his hand. But that will go in the little holster. Just like that. It does stop his arm going all the way down now, unfortunately. What else have we got? Next we've got these little, uh, little leg bands. Now these came in orange plastic and also in green plastic. And these two leg ones are on the same sprue as this little headdress. Now you might be able to see this one's actually snapped. And it does fit on his head. If it's not snapped, it won't fit. Which is a typical action jack, really. So they all come in the same sprue. So we also get uh, 
this quiver. This is to fit the arrows in. This was yellow on the box. This is uh, obviously black. And that will just fit over his head and one arm. It fits quite nicely. So there you go, you can see on the back now he's got this little hole to put his arrows in. And he also comes with this little necklace thing. Which can go over his head like that. Now that's on the same sprue as these two little armbands. They're basically smaller versions of the ones we put on his legs, which happen to be falling off right now. And again, you can get all these orange pieces in a bright green plastic. But they should all be the same colour, depending on which set you've got. So that's those. We also, obviously you've seen this headdress. But we're not going to use that one because we get this one. This is his Indian chief headdress. And that uh, just has a little uh, clip around, that goes around his head. It's a bit of an awkward fit this one, it either goes over his head, so that it sits on the top like that, which is a bit of a funny angle, but never mind. So what else do we get? We get the shield, on the box this was green plastic with a yellow sticker, well, depending on who's put the sticker on, because these come factory applied. Depends on which way around the shield's going to go. And this one actually doesn't look too bad straight down. So there's his shield. Now he has tons of weapons. First off, you get a tomahawk. Get all of it. Which does fit in his hand. So you can have that weapon. Get some spears. This is the largest of the spears. All these silver pieces are on the same sprue, and I've never seen them in any other colour than silver. So that's his big spear. But he also comes with a smaller one, which is the same thing really, just a little bit smaller. Still fits in his hand nicely. You can see his face is disappearing under his hat there. And we also get this, which is his bow. Now this came with an elastic band. Obviously 30 year old elastic bands don't survive very well. So this one doesn't have one, but it just sort of fits in his hand. And uh, with the band on you could actually ping the arrows a bit, so that was good. Speaking of arrows, it actually comes with four. And these are just all silver, thin plastic, little point on one end, little uh, flight on the other. And you can actually pop these in his, in his little uh, quiver. Yeah, it doesn't quite hold four. You can sort of do it, but uh, mainly fitting for three. So there you go, as you can see, this guy comes with loads of bits making him one of the best action jacks. He was my favourite as a kid, absolutely loved these. And you've got so many different options. So if you get a couple of figures, you can uh, do different things with them. I'll just show you, I do have a couple of pieces. That's the bright green leg bands. I've only got one of these and it's split and I've dropped it. That's the bright green version of the headdress. And it's a bit tatty. But you can sort of pick up the colour there. And I also have this. Now this is a yellow version. And I think what this is, is a, a sun faded version of the green one. Because I've never ever seen yellow accessories on these. But there you go. So, if he stood up with all this gear on, it would be great. But I don't think we're going to be lucky. But yeah, like I say, he's, uh, he's very different to all the other action jacks. He comes with loads of bits. So getting a complete from uh, buying all the loose bits might be a little bit difficult. But there we go. We've got him stood up. He's a little bit wonky. So there you go. This is the Red Indian. One of my favourites from when I 
when I was a kid. So, hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.